Good morning, boys and girls. I want to read you a story called The 100th Day Worries. It's about a little girl. She's very, very worried about the 100th day of school. The author is Marjorie Cooler, and the illustrator is Arthur Howard. I hope you like my story. Jessica was a worrier. She worried about everything. She worried about losing her first tooth and remembering her lunch money and missing the school bus and getting her math right. But on the 95th day of first grade, Jessica's teacher gave her something new to worry about. Next Friday will be the 100th day of school, Mr. Martin said. So I want each of you to bring in a collection of 100 things. They can be anything you want, but they should be small like rubber bands or marbles. We'll display our collections out in the hall. All weekend long, Jessica thought and thought, but each new idea brought new worries with it. One hundred ice cubes? Too melty. One hundred marshmallows? Too sticky. One hundred toothpicks? Too pointy. That Sunday night at dinner, Jessica asked her family for ideas. How about one hundred yo-yos? suggested Tom. That's dumb, said Jessica. Where would I get one hundred yo-yos? Maybe 100 lipsticks would work, said Laura. Jessica rolled her eyes. Laura might have that many tubes of lipstick, but Jessica sure didn't. We know you'll think of something, said Mom and Dad. You have until Friday. On Monday, the 96th day of school, Jessica watched as Bobby gave Mr. Martin five bags of peanuts. There are 20 peanuts in each bag, Bobby explained. Great, said Mr. Martin. Why didn't I think of peanuts, Jessica wondered. On the 97th day of school, Jessica watched as Sharon piled paper clips into 10 neat stacks on Mr. Martin's desk. 100 paper clips in all, Sharon announced. Wonderful, said Mr. Martin. How'd she find so many, wondered Jessica. On the 98th day of school, Jessica watched as Ashley brought in 100 peppermints. I ate a few, she admitted, so I really only have 95. She promised to bring in five more peppermints the next day. Fantastic, said Mr. Martin. Jessica's stomach felt queasy. By the time Jessica went to bed on the 99th day of school, she still hadn't thought of anything to bring. On Friday morning, she sat at the breakfast table and stared at her cereal. Jessica? asked Mom. What's wrong? Today is the last day to bring in 100 things for the 100th day of school, and I still haven't thought of the right thing, she said. I've only come up with stuff that's too melty or too sticky or too pointy. I'll be the only kid without anything to show, and everyone will make fun of me. Jessica began to cry. Don't worry, said Dad. I have an idea. He pulled open one of the kitchen drawers. Here are some ribbons, he said, giving Jessica a handful of scraps. Jessica counted three red, two green, two yellow, two purple, and one striped. Mom ran down to the cellar and brought back a jar. Here are some screws, she said, dumping a pile on the table. Jessica counted four big, four small, one giant, and one tiny. 
Here are some rocket-shaped erasers for my collection, said Tom. Four pink, three green, two white, and one yellow. Here are some beads from my necklace that broke, said Laura. Three round, four oval, two square, and one shaped like a smiling cat. I'll get some buttons from my shirt drawer, said Dad. He found five black, three brown, and two white. Here's some loose change from my purse, said Mom. Ten pennies and ten nickels. Here are ten barrettes I don't need anymore, said Laura. Here are some rocks from Iggy's Aquarium, said Tom. Six brown, three green, and one sparkly. How much stuff do we have so far, asked Mom. Jessica looked at the stuff on the table. It wasn't one hundred of anything, but at least she had something to show, and something was better than nothing. There's the bus, said Mom. Here's a bag for your things. Don't forget your lunch. Jessica shoved everything into the bag and ran to catch the bus. All morning, Jessica thought about the stuff in the bag. She tried to remember the things her family had given her. Ten ribbons, ten screws, ten erasers, ten beads, ten buttons, ten pennies, ten nickels, ten barrettes, ten rocks, that came to ninety. She needed ten more. Where could she get ten more things? Oh no, here came her worries again. At lunch, Jessica found a note in her lunchbox. Sweetie, we'll help you find more stuff this weekend. I'm sure Mr. Martin will understand if your collection is late. Don't worry. Love, Mom. Suddenly, Jessica had a great idea. She smiled to herself as she waited for lunch to be over. After story hour, Mr. Martin said it was time to put their 100 things out in the hall. What did you bring, Jessica? he asked. Here are 10 ribbons from my dad, she said. 10? asked Mr. Martin. And 10 screws from my mom, said Jessica. The other kids came over to look, and ten erasers for my brother, and ten beads from my sister, said Jessica. Pretty, said Anita. And here are ten buttons from my father, and ten pennies, and ten nickels from my mother, and ten barrettes from my sister, and ten rocks from my brother's iguana's aquarium, said Jessica. Cool, said Leslie. And what's this, asked Mr. Martin. Ten kisses from my mom, said Jessica. See? I brought in one hundred things my family gave me, said Jessica. Is that okay? Wow, said Mr. Martin. I've seen a lot of great collections for the one hundredth day of school, but this one, Jessica swallowed. This one is really special, said Mr. Martin. You've brought in 100 bits of love. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. I love to see that Jessica's family helped her out and she had nothing to worry about. See you soon.